Let's see if we can make this a little bit better. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Woodworking. I'm Ed, welcome to the shop. So I built this a couple of videos ago. I'll put a card up here somewhere uh, for you to go and check that out. But I've used it uh, and I think I can make it better. A couple of issues, uh, pretty obvious. I don't know if anybody noticed before, but these are a little bit long. So I think it's time that we trim these up. They do get in the way a bit, so let's trim them up. Uh, the other thing that I uh, think is wrong is here, down at the bottom. It puts it up too high, so if you wanted to get something a little bit bigger, it's going to be a little snug on that end. So I want to trim that bottom up. I think i got enough meat to do that. And then finally, the other thing is, is on at least on this lathe, which is a Jet 1221, it's a pain to get on. So uh, I think I've got a better way of doing it where it goes on here and then swivels. So I think that's what we're gonna try to do. Those are the three things that we're going to do to make it better is again, shortening the arms, shortening this, and improving the way that it attaches to the lathe. Stick around, let's get started. Okay, so now it's time to get it all put back together. Um, I really like the way this is going to work. So you don't have to take anything off. You just line them up, put them on there. You can turn that until it gets into place. And then just take a wrench, tighten it up, and boom, there it is. Okay, so now let's put this back together. Thank you. 
Alrighty, hope you enjoyed this quick little video on how I made this batter. Uh, by shortening it, it's a little bit more in line with the, uh, the center. Um, these are a little bit shorter so they don't get in the way. Um, and then, you know, the biggest improvement I feel is just the way it attaches to the lathe. So just, you know, it's got to have a line up, comes out. You push it back in, goes anywhere along the lathe bed. You just spin it underneath, got it tightened up, and then boom, you just tighten it up with a wrench and you're good to go. The way it was before, at least on the 1221, there's the motor is right here. You know, you can't see my hand, but it's right under here. So trying to get under there with a, bolt, a nut and holding it was a big pain in the butt. So this is so much better. I've got a lot more flexibility of where I can move it now. Um, so it's a vast improvement. These three things are gonna really make this great design even better. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna have the new plans out on the website uh, uh, probably by the time this video goes up. Um, they're gonna include uh, you know, a DXF, PDF files, the VCAR improved. Um, put a lot more time into this uh, with a little bit more instructions and a little bit more of the hardware that was used in the PDF file. So I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, give it that thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay. Give it a thumbs down, but comment, share, all those great things help the channel. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, have a blessed day.